Hello, this is Bhante Vimala Ramsey, and I wanted to talk to you about forgiveness meditation. One of the things that can happen when you're trying to do loving kindness meditation is that you don't feel that warm feeling in the center of your chest and you can become frustrated because of that. Anytime that happens, what that means is that you have some old, hard experiences wrapped around your heart and it stops you from feeling that loving feeling coming out of your heart. When that happens, now it's time to do forgiveness meditation. The way you start doing the forgiveness meditation is start with yourself. And you say to yourself, I forgive myself for not understanding. Now, a lot of people say understanding what? Understanding how you caused yourself pain or how you caused other people pain. You forgive yourself for not understanding. Every time you, you say this to yourself, then as soon as you get done, relax. Relax the tightness in your head, in your mind. Now, any time you have a distraction, the thought that comes up, at first your mind is gonna say, I don't wanna do this, it's a waste of time then forgive yourself for having that thought, relax and come back and say it again. And you keep with that. You keep with forgiving yourself for making mistakes, forgiving yourself for not understanding. After a period of time, there is gonna be a memory that comes up and there's going to be some people that are in that memory and you start forgiving them for not understanding. Forgive them for making a mistake or causing you pain. And you stay with that person as long as you possibly can until you feel relief. If tears come, don't stop tears. Let the tears come. I know for men that's a hard thing. And that's unfortunate because we need to let go of the pain of that memory. When you let go of that pain, you will feel relief. It's like somebody took a heavy rock and moved it off your shoulder. Then you come back to yourself. I forgive myself for not understanding. I forgive myself for making a mistake. I forgive myself for causing some, someone else pain were causing myself pain. Now, every time your mind gets distracted, I don't care if it's a feeling, if it's a sadness, if it's boredom, if it's anger, if it's dislike, it doesn't matter what it is. You need to forgive it and bring up that person that you're having the trouble with Forgive them for not understanding because they didn't understand. They didn't know that they were causing this problem. They got caught up in their own emotions. So you forgive them for having an unwholesome emotion. Always after you forgive them, relax that tension and tightness in your head, in your mind, and then say that again. This is 
a repeating exercise that helps you to let go of your pain and suffering. And when you finally do let that go, you have to say it over and over again many times. And when you finally do let that go, all of that pain that you've experienced in the past will disappear. And you will feel extreme uplift and happy and relief. But then come back again because there might be something else that you need to forgive or forgive someone else. Now, this is a healing technique and it really does work. But any time you allow your mind just to get carried away with the story or trying to figure out what you could have done different, forgive yourself for doing that and relax and come back and forgive again. Anything that pulls your attention away from forgiving, forgive yourself for allowing that to happen and relax and repeat it again. The more you repeat it, the easier it is to convince yourself that you really do forgive them. You have to tell yourself that a lot because you've spent an awful lot of time going back over that memory and not liking it. So it's going to, it takes a while to honestly, sincerely forgive yourself for causing the pain to yourself or someone else. There can be times that there's memories that come up that are not necessarily from this lifetime. I've had students that they, they, remind, they remembered a situation where they were fighting with swords and they killed someone. And then they turned around, get back into the war and somebody killed them and stabbed them in the liver. Now in his lifetime, he's roughly 40 years old, he's had a bad liver and he's had a lot of pain because of it. So he asked me, what do you do? So I said, okay, you go to that person in your mind that you killed and you ask them to forgive you for causing that pain. And when you forgive in them, then you go to the person that killed you and forgive them for doing it. As soon as he did that, the pain in his liver went away and he hasn't had any problem with it since. So this can be a healing technique that works very well. And say you have a family member that you don't get along with so well. Forgive them for not understanding. And when you honestly forgive them, that gives them the space to change. And they will become much more agreeable to you and your ideas. I had a lady that her, her ex-husband and son, they wouldn't talk to her for years until she started doing forgiveness. And when she forgave herself, she forgave their family member, all of a sudden they started talking. And just last year, they were going to be traveling together and going to France and being a family again without the attachments. So forgiveness is a very, very powerful meditation, but you have to have patience. 
okay? Now, another thing that you want to do is keep the forgiveness with you all the time. When somebody is talking to you and they're not being very nice about it, forgive them it right then. Don't pay attention to what they're saying because that's nonsense. But you also want to be able to forgive while you're walking. Your right foot, I. Your left foot, forgive. Right foot, you. You forgive me. I forgive you. You forgive me. That's keeping forgiveness in your mind all the time. And it makes the sitting a little bit easier that you can forgive. And you get more equanimity in your mind when you finally start forgiving that relative or person whoever caused the pain. When you get done doing that, then you start practicing loving kindness, your heart is gonna be very open and it's gonna be so easy to radiate loving kindness. And there might be something other that, that happened in the past that you didn't remember. Well, you do the loving kindness. If you have something you need to forgive, then forgive it then. That is part of loving kindness meditation. So the more you can accept what has happened in the past, the more you can allow that to be there without getting caught in aversion, dislike, and dissatisfaction the lighter your mind becomes, the more joy you have. And other people will start liking you even more, especially the ones that you had problem with. They will be changing and they will be more loving and kind to you as you're more forgiving towards the past situation. Can you talk about how long? How long the sittings and the walk? Okay, when you're doing the sitting meditation, I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. You don't need to do it any more than that. Although when you get up and start moving and doing other things, you can keep forgiving if you want. It just won't be as deep. And the walking, if you're doing it as a uh, part of a meditation, um, a half an hour, 45 minutes. I've had some people that they just wanted to walk and they could do the forgiveness so easily that they did it for longer periods of time. That's up to you, it doesn't really matter. But keep it in your mind as much as you possibly can. Somebody says something that's nasty, you don't fight back. You don't get angry with them. You forgive them right then. They don't understand that they're causing pain to other people and to themselves. So you have to be able to forgive them, right? That's what Buddhism is about. Learning to lovingly accept what arises in the present.